Welcome back again guys to another video here on my channel. It's another Shisha Saturday and today we have an unboxing of a Zara hookah straight from America again. And I'm just gonna stop talking. Let's just see what's inside. Okay, so straight off you see the Zara name to show it's legit. And this actually goes for 6,500 pesos, which is about $130. And yeah, it's already the same price as if you would buy straight from the US of A. And you'll see this big, big boy. Check it out. So you see here, it's actually just the stem itself. Because if you know a thing or two about Shisha, you know that the stem does a lot of the work for the shisha. The bowl is pretty much just a container for water and it does a lot of things of course, you know, it holds the water but whatever. But stems, especially these kinds of special wide open stems, give a very very different experience as if you would compare again with a classic Khalil Mamoon or any other classic hookahs. So you can see this is a beautiful green orange or bronze or whatever it calls and yellow color so this is made out of cnc stainless steel the highest form of stainless steel available known to man as much as i know and it's also anonized which means that it's hard to scratch off the color here and so and with this stem comes in the box as well the tray and that's unbox the tray as well. So you see here, the tray is also legitimately Zara. And again, it's also made from the same steel, CNC steel, and it's also anonized, which means that it'll last a long time, you know. Scratch it all if you want with, you know, I have some rings here, you scratch it, not gonna do anything. And let's see now. So you have it like so. So when we come back, you're gonna see the whole setup right here. Okay guys, so you see here, the Zara Shisha is set up with a basic base and the Hookah John 80 by 80 bowl again, because it's just fantastic. There's nothing else to say about it. And we are using the Razer heat management system so that we can get the most out of the tobacco that we are going to use tonight which is da -da -da -da, the black lava black tea flavor and for those of you who don't know black lava is a dark leaf tobacco just like the one we had last time but this one is very special because it has a high nicotine content which is for shisha standards 0.8 is already high nicotine the usual as I told you guys is 0 0.05 this one really beats you up if you're not used to smoking shisha. So what I recommend is that if you're a beginner, don't try this yet. For those of you who have uh, smoked some shisha for a few months or years, years already, go ahead, try black lava and see a world of difference. And now we're gonna see how it's gonna be because I'm also excited. I've never tried a Zara shisha and I've never tried the black lava black tea flavor. So see you guys there. Okay, so we are here now with the Zara Shisha and the tobacco is finished cooking. It takes about five minutes for it to cook, you know, so you can get all the flavors, maximum flavor output. And yeah, if you noticed, I'm with my two friends today, Anton Koma and Gino Mintu. Anton Koma actually has a channel as well. Check him out. His name is Porky Pig. He does a lot of vlogs, sometimes a bit more inspirational than mine. So if you're into that stuff, check him out. And yeah, it's gonna be Gino's first time to try a dark leaf tobacco. What I'm assuming is that uh, his reaction will be how no most people will react, just like I did when I first tried the dark leaf. So, you wanna do the honors? Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just go, take a whiff. Don't uh, try not to not to draw too much. Like, just do it like. <laughs> Just so you guys know, Gino has been smoking shisha for quite a few months already. You know, every time I hang out with him, I bring my own shisha, and it's usually a blonde leaf. 
So how was it, Gino? Very good, very very sweet. very sweet. Very but sweet. how was it for the for the throw? You, I noticed you you cuffed more than you usually do. It's a bit rough. But, yeah. Uh, it's it's different. Yes, yes, it's really different. Uh, again, for the uninitiated, this is a bit too strong. But once you get used to it, it's it 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 brings a lot more flavor. And we'll see later on. Usually when I smoke this, I notice a big difference from other uh, blonde leaf tobaccos is that it lasts so much longer and this, the flavor stays just as strong as it does from the first minute you try it until the last minute. So here's my here's my take. Oops. So yeah, this is the black tea, and yeah, if you're a fan of tea, if you're from Britain or China, oolong teas, do whatever you want. This gives a lot more flavor. It is very nice. It's not an overpowering fruity flavor that you would usually get from other typical hookah flavors or shisha flavors as well. And let's give it another try. Wow, as you see, the smoke output in this is amazing. It's so thick so creamy i like it when the smoke comes out like that because honestly for me as i told you guys i've never really smoked a cigarette i just smoke shisha just for fun and seeing the big smokes is a part of it it's not like vape where you can like you know get crazy clouds but for shisha i think this dark leaf black lava is already one of the best that you can get so you want to try it Tom? give me give me give me, give me. i take a really long drag Whatever you want. You've already tried once. He's already tried uh, Dark Leaf once, the Black Lava once, and he's gonna try this for the first time. Oh, that's crazy. That's lovely. Yeah. So wait, what can you say about it, man? Okay, I want another one. Go ahead. That's some thick ass clouds. I can definitely taste the nicotine. Oh, another one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's That's just so 0. Good, 0.8 man. nicotine. And there's some, and there's some sort of aftertaste, and you can really taste the oh. black tea. <laughs> oh, sorry, you can really taste the black tea there. Let me and while you're talking, let me go ahead. And yeah, I love it. I love it, man. Well, yeah, yeah. You love it? Yeah. One out of ten, how, how would you rate it? Uh, I would say this is the best flavor I've tasted um, that you've shared with me so far. So. And I've shared with you uh, quite a lot of uh, shisha flavors yeah, already. Yeah, he has, he has. How about you, Gina? Oh. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, it, it, it's, like, it's like he's getting born again. <laughs> he's going through baptism once more. And uh, I guess all of us did when we first tried this. And. Yeah, well, how about you? What's your rating? 1 to 10? It's a... Um, 8 to 9, yeah. Because of the... It's, it's quite rough, but... I like the flavor. Let, let's see after an hour if he's still gonna say nine to ten, 8 to 9. Maybe he's gonna go to 10. Because after an hour or so, when you get used to smoking this kind of, uh, of shisha... Oh my... This kind of tobacco... You kind of adjust to it, like like we did. We, 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 we learned to love it. It's not, it's not like saying like it sucks that you have to learn to love it. I mean, it's just on another plane of level, you know. It's, it's crazy. And by the way, before I forget, this shisha is actually available here in Hookah Shisha Central. And you can buy this black lava black tea flavor for 1,300 pesos, which is about $26. And yeah, we got a lot more flavors here. Tune in for next time. We're going to review a lot more black lava flavors and from what I know is it right uh, from what I know hookah shisha central is the only supplier of black lava tobacco here in the Philippines yes so if you ever want to get your hands on this just check hookah shisha central out all the best quality shishas shisha tobaccos shisha shisha sets you can get here at hookah shisha central so one more Woo. So what I noticed, just after one round with all of us, that here on my second round of uh, smoking this already, the flavors already increased like times two. So I can taste more now. There seems to be some kind of like 
watermelon flavor to it as well. I'm not sure if it's watermelon or... Uh, let me try again. So yeah, so even though it's black tea, I mean, yeah, even, even though it's black tea, being a shisha itself means that it has some sweetness to it because the tobacco is covered in usually molasses, but what I researched is that for black lava, it's covered in honey. So there's a bit sweetness of, uh, there's a, still a bit sweetness in there, but it's really not that overpowering, not like what you'd get with other flavors that is, you know, just so much like you could just eat candy already one, one of my friends told me that before like when she when she was smoking shisha she's like you know i can i can i want to eat it because it tastes like candy but this one it's it's like i, I don't know if i say high class you say high class it's like yeah it's like going from captain morgan's rum to a high quality rum i don't know rums but it's like going from jack daniels which is just sweet to going to uh glenfiddich 12. If you know, go, if you know whiskey, but you want to try again? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Let's see. At least two rounds for all of us, and let's see what else we're gonna see next month. Mm. It reminds me of what we call here in the Philippines, <coughs> sagugulaman. Oh yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Has that aftertaste? I don't know the English translation of that, but you know. My now, what, from what I know, sagugulaman is uh, just tapioca. Like little tapioca balls with a, it's just, I think it's made of sugar, right? It's like sugar juice. Man, I'm feeling as a chef right now. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. By the way, he's also a chef. Yes. Yeah, uh, right now, I mean, as of the posting of this video, he doesn't have any uh, cooking videos yet, but it's gonna come up. So if you guys want to see that, sign up. I right, sign up. If you want to see that, just Good. subscribe to his channel, and you'll see that in the future. Yeah, in three weeks, I'm gonna be posting that. Yeah. So in three weeks, he's gonna have some cooking videos stay tuned for those and yeah so what i want to do now, now is just give gina another try a third try see if it's going to change for you now because for us it changed yeah it did quite a bit and i'm getting a heavy head rush right now and I'm yes actually it. yeah actually i forgot about that that's one of the hallmarks of a black leaf tobacco and for these high nicotine ones it's like for, actually, for, for all shishas, if you've never tried uh, shisha, it's going to give you a head brush when you first try it. But if you've smoked shisha for a while now, you're going to find that you know the, the blonde leaves are uh, the blonde leaves don't give you as much of a head brush anymore. And if you try this, it just beats you up again. That, what, that's what I mean by it beats you up. It gives you a very, very strong head brush. And it's just a nice buzz to get. And it's not, it's not like doing drugs. It's just fun. So what can you say, you know, with your third try? Yeah, after the third try, uh, it's not as rough. Uh, <laughs> you can definitely taste the uh, sweetness, a bit more sugary. But uh, yeah, overall, uh, I think it went up. My rating went up. So what is it now? What is it now? Maybe a nine point five. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, not, not quite a ten, huh? Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> this is gonna be the challenge for these videos: is to give my friends a good time, see what they'll like. Maybe next time we'll go over 10, we'll go to an 11, 12, if we find even an even better flavor. But for now, this is currently <coughs> the king of the hill. And from what I researched as well, Black Lava is one of the new kids on the block. It's one of the newer shisha brands, or uh, shisha tobacco brands out there. So if you guys just wanna explore, just check it out. See what you can uh, get from Black Lava Tobacco and give it a try. <laughs> If you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to leave a like and hit that red subscribe button down there just to make sure that you guys will see more content from Mr. Karskar and Dang. Awesome! Bye bye! So, we are back here with the actual review of the Zara Shisha itself. So, what I can say right off the bat after smoking already, I mean, getting a few puffs from it, is that the the price really shows. So it's about more than half the price of the Regal Queen, but the Zara Shisha is still very, very high quality. I have actually at home a Starbuzz Shisha, and I say this is more similar to that, and it actually, the draw is still very, very nice. You guys tried this one. We are actually smoking another one here at the back, the uh, another Khalil Mamoon. And from what you guys can say, you've tried the Khalil Mamoon and you've tried this one. What can you say is a big difference from the two? 
uh, I find that a little bit more restricted when it comes to the draw. Yeah. There's something with this that makes it more open and it feels like I can make a lot of smoke plumes with this and that's why I kind of enjoy this more because I really like smoke and a lot of smoke. Look at that. Can you guys see that? Yeah, that's it's amazing. big. So yeah, from straight off the bat, it's just a basic review. The Zara Shisha itself, very high quality again. From what I know, it lasts longer and the good thing is about a the good thing as well is that, again, the draw is very, very smooth. There is not much uh, restriction on it. As you'll see, the stem is very well crafted. It has a nice shape to it. And even using a basic base like this, it's giving off a wonderful smoke. And it's pretty much it. I mean, there's not much to say about Shisha itself. It, I mean, they look good. It's pretty... The color is great, and at least you know. Oh, if you see here, actually, you can connect more than one uh, hose on it. But from my experience, I usually like to just use one hose because if you use more than one, the the sharing aspect of it is a bit difficult. But if you guys have any questions, just leave them out. Let's just leave them out in the comments. If you have any thoughts or ideas for future videos on Shisha Saturdays, just put them down on the comments as well. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell just below here. And of course, don't forget to share with all your beautiful friends. See you guys on the next video. Bye!